Good morning friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another beach decor for you. This one is amazing because these frames are pretty expensive but the one I made here costs only like $3 to make. I've seen them on Pinterest where people make them out of the starfishies or other items. And this frame is going to be part of my decor. As you know, I'm trying to turn my entire kitchen into beach themed. So this is why I'm doing a lot of beach decor. So if you want to see how I made this one, keep on watching. But before I get started, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to check out my Facebook group. It's called Tina Did It with the Pink Hearts. Make sure to join that group where you can share your recreations, you can share your craft. You're all so creative. I've seen amazing projects there and you could also get some ideas. So definitely check that out and make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's tina.did.it just like you see here on the screen. And that's where I post all my crafts, all my um, creations. And the best part is that you can message me anytime. I'd love to hear from you. That way you're not just a subscriber, you're also my friend. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to take this frame from Dollar Tree. It's an 11 by 14. I just picked up the black one. There, it also comes with brown, but it doesn't matter. We're going to paint it later. And now you need an anchor. So what you can do for this part, I just happen to have an anchor. And this is why I went with the size 11 by 14 because my anchor is pretty big. But if you wanna do it on a smaller frame, maybe an eight by 10, I don't recommend anything smaller because then the stones might be too close to each other. But you can definitely print out a template from online and um, just trace it. So basically, I'm just going to trace around my anchor. And like I said, if you don't have an anchor, I just happen to have this on hand that I used in a previous video. But, um, but yeah, so you can print out an anchor from online and just trace around it. Or you can just tape it to the bottom of the glass and use that as a guide. So I'm just going to trace around it using a Sharpie. Don't worry, we'll, the Sharpie will wipe off later. Um, but yeah, just make sure you use something dark. I ended up using light blue here and I couldn't really see it well on the glass. So later on, you'll see I just went around it and traced it with pink. If you don't have a frame and you just have glass because in my previous videos, we used tons of the frames and we had extra glass left out so if you don't have the frame you could use Jenga pieces and um, make a frame out of those so that's another idea for you or you can do the Jenga pieces only on the top and the bottom of the frame um, to make it look like a scroll but anyways moving on <laughs> I'm going to go in with the white stones from Dollar Tree and this fix all adhesive do not use hot glue because all the stones will end up falling off the glass so for this project you need either this fix all, fix all adhesive or E6000 so basically I'm just going to take the glue and work inside the line oh and I forgot to mention make sure you flip your frame so that way the part that has the marker is on the back because we will be cleaning that up later you don't want to work on the side where you um where you trace the template because you want to be able to erase the marker do you know what I mean so make sure to flip your glass so we can clean the back later the marker the outline so now I'm just going to fill in those areas with the stone and this does take a while to dry so make sure you just leave it on the table and let it dry and realize I'm working in little sections because um, it's easier that way instead of putting all the glue in it just it will create a bigger mess so work in smaller sections and it should be easier that way a little warning this project does take time to finish so um this is a perfect time to do it <laughs> notice here i'm putting in some silver glitter um this won't dry on top of the stone if that makes sense it's going to land in a little pieces a little opening where it still has glue so i'm going to do that before the glue dries and then i'm just going to move it away from my guideline my outline here and then continue on so i'm going to add glue and continue adding stones before i forget to mention if you like videos that are straight on point and cute projects like this one and very easy to make make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time i upload a video another warning is do be careful with the glass when you're moving it around you don't want to hurt yourself so be very gentle and be careful 
I mean, you can probably work on the anchor while it's in the frame, but as for me, I wanted it out of the way, the frame. Um, that's why I decided to take the glass out. But another option is to leave it in the um, in the frame and then do the stones. Now I just added glitter all over and then here's uh, how it looks after it's dry. You do wanna leave this for 24 hours to dry because this glue does take a while to seal and realize we used a lot of glue here. So, And now I'm just going to go in with a cleaner and wipe out our outline. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to clean the front a little bit because there was still some glitter and that's pretty much it. It's a very easy project, definitely inexpensive to make and keeping me busy. So <laughs> it's perfect. And now I'm going to paint my frame. I'm going to paint this using the Apple Barrel Turquoise and Caribbean. I'm going to mix them together. You don't need a lot to paint this and I'm not going to worry about the back since I'm going to have it standing um, in the corner of my wall in the kitchen or hanging on the wall. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to go in with E6000 and apply it on the inner part of the frame all around and then I'm going to take my glass and drop it in there but realize when we do drop it the stones of course are not letting it set into the frame so we're going to have this standing on something you'll see in a minute here so here I'm going to grab the frame and the glass together and just tap it on the table for any extra glitter to fall off and then here I have a standing on the box do you see that and then I let that dry and here's how it looks I think it looks pretty cute and I might add rope to this later you could also paint this if you want your anchor a different color and the best part is this only costs three dollars to make so yeah let me know what you think down in the comments you know i'd love to hear from you so definitely let me know what you think and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun diys and make sure to share with your friends thank you all for watching stay safe see you all next time bye